Hello. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you so much. I am her Virgo goat. And <laughs> wonderfuls. Argentina. Hello. This is Jax. You want to say hi to Jax? Jax. That's Jax. He's going to be saying hello to you guys a lot yeah. tonight. Jax is our pooch, and he is about 13 and a half. Um, but he's going to live until he's 100,000 years old. Hey, from Brazil. Hello. Hi, Lana. Oh, she said hi, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> from Jamaica, the UK. Oh, it's really in like early in the morning in the UK, right? Like really super early. Hi, Courtney. Mackenzie. Hello, Mario. I did make the moderator. Are they on? Yes, can you talk to them? Hold tight, you guys, just a second. Gabriella, I did. I must have done something wrong. <laughs> Gabriella, and you should be our moderator. Do you not see it? Hello. Hi, Paige. Crazy, sexy, cool Virgo. We don't want you to break your neck, though. Baby, come on, Reed. Come on. What's for dinner tonight? So, hey, Doc Steady, thank you for moderating. Um, we got salad and we got pizza from this place called Eatsies. So we got a, like a three cheese pizza for dinner. And so that's what we had. Hello. And we're hoping you can't smell the garlic from there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, the garlic was pretty severe. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Aish, Quinn. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, the comments are coming so fast. So yeah. really try, Mario, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, so this is really informal, you guys. We just wanted to say hi to everyone and answer any questions you all might have. Thank you so much for the gift, Sea Dog, Loki's wife. Thank you so much for the gifts. Um, Ashley, thank you. Um, so my name is Tracy. Where's my ring? Oh, oh my we, gosh. We have to pause. Okay. I'll go get the ring. Go, okay, go get the ring. Oops, I'm in trouble. I don't have my ring on, my jewelry, you know, running around. Um, my name is Tracy, and um, my wife's name is Cheryl. She's going to get my ring because apparently if I don't have my ring on, you all don't know that I'm married. But I think everyone here knows. Uh, hi, Fatima. You're smiling at the phone, Danny. Thank you so much. Leona, hello. Thank you, Sea Dog, again for the gift. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Okay, now I have my ring. So now I'm married again. Yes, we are married. Hi, Tashana. Thank you so much for the roses. We appreciate that. Um, so my name is Tracy, and this is my wife, Cheryl. Hello, everyone. And so we thought we would just kind of start by just kind of telling you a little bit about our journey and then answer questions that you all might have. This is our first live. Um, I've actually been on TikTok for three years, and so uh, I'm, even though I've been on TikTok for three years, I've never had this kind of uh, reaction. So um, we're so grateful for yeah. everyone's like love and you all following us. Um, hi from New York. Hi, R. Clark. Uh, do we get deets on this red lip today? Yes. Cheryl's going to talk <laughs> about the lipstick too. It's going to be very important. Um, but I'm Tracy, and I'm an educator by trade. That's what I do. Um, for my work is my passion. I love it so much. I love being able to impact um, our youngest learners. I've um, had all kinds of roles in education from teacher all the way up, a lot higher, a lot higher. And so it's been a great uh, 20 plus years in education. And so that's a little bit about me. And then I'll let Cheryl talk a little bit and then we'll just kind of talk about how this all just transpired. Hi from Trinidad, hello. Well, first of all, we're so excited because a week ago you didn't know us and we <laughs> didn't know you. So this is super uh, exciting. I'm an interior designer, I'm from Dallas. I went to design school in Atlanta. I was there for six years, amazing experience. I love that city. And then I moved to New York City and that, uh, that, was, that was really fun. I was there for five years. And uh, instead of interior design, I went into clothing design when I was there. And I had my own line of designer sportswear for women. And um, I manufactured, and it was quite a quite a 
quite an experience. And uh, when my oldest daughter was born, uh, she was a year old, and I moved back to Texas because my family was here. So I've been back in Texas for 30 years. Yeah. Wow. So and now I just do um, interior design. So commercial, residential, anything and everything. She's fancy. That's where the fancy comes from. Um, thank you for the gifts, Mel's Diamond, I think. Mel's something. Um, so thank you. Yes, we are your beautiful parents. We are your parents, your moms, your aunties, your friends. We will be all of those things to you all. Um, so a week ago, I was just on TikTok and I thought I'm going to make, you know, this little trend that's a cute trend about like showing what was then what is now. And I thought I'm going to just really talk about um, my wife and our journey. And it blew up like 5 million of you all saw that video. 5 million of you all, like we are just like blown away. So thank you all so much for the love. Um, we are, you know, normally a pretty private couple. So Very. this is a big thing for us to just come and talk like this, but um, we just wanted to get to know you all better as well. So thank you, that chick, Mario's. Oh, thank you, Mario. Simone said, Auntie Cheryl made the first move. Uh -huh. <laughs> the answer is yes. I don't know what makes you think that. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the gifts. Um, thank you, Hermosa. It's me, Hermosa. Uh -huh. um, how many times has Cheryl redecorated the house? That's interesting. Yeah. Well, um, when I moved in, I decorated it. And then when Tracy moved in, I decorated it again. Yeah. So, so twice. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So twice. Um, we love you too. TT Cheryl, were you on the news for some political figure or am I tripping? Next. <laughs> 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 it's the red lipstick for me. Baby, talk about the lipstick. So, um, it's Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and it's color 95. And it stays on all day. I put this on this morning, and I just kind of touched it up just now before I came in. But And I had lunch, and we just had a salad, and I'm telling you, it, it doesn't ever go away. It's kind of hard <laughs> to get off at night. but um, Very hard to get off at night. But worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we made me believe in love again. Thank you so much. Like that's, um, that makes a, a, makes us feel really, really good. You know, we are, um, seasoned women. So we see a lot of 20 year olds on TikTok and 30 year olds and we love, you know, our 20 and 30 year old friends. Um, but it's also like nice for the representation of those when you get a little bit older and, um, you're just living your life, um, like grown folks stuff. We Your said this is like grown folks love, right? Yeah. And so we are, we have a YouTube, you guys, because this is our first um, live. We're still learning all the details, but we do have a YouTube channel. We're going to be posting this weekend. So check the link out in my bio, our bio now. Um, and you can follow us on YouTube. We also have an Instagram. So please link up with our Instagram um, and our YouTube. We'd love to see you all there. S Celia Jane, St. James, you guys, you all have said she looks like Celia St. James, um, who else? Jessica Chastain for sure. Yeah, hands down, that was the number one. But my favorite right. was Jerry Hall because oh, she is yeah. from Texas. And so I absolutely love her. And once in a while you actually see her around Dallas, which is kind of fun, yeah. And Jessica yeah. Rabbit. You all said oh, I yeah. married Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. Like, well, okay. <laughs> I have a few red dresses. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cheryl's Gorge. Thank you, Jessica Aww. Rabbit. Yes. Aww. Thank you all so much for the love, the gifts, zodiac signs. Uh, I'm an Aries, and Cheryl is Leo with red hair, red hair lion. That's the thing. She's tame, though. <laughs> she is mostly, right? Mm -hmm. We're your favorite couple. Thank you so much. Betty Boop and Jessica Rabbit. We've heard that, too. Yeah, that was cute. Very cute. Oh, someone just said they made the protection squad from Instagram. Uh, thank you so much. Aw. So sweet. Aries, yes. Nancy, you're an Aries, too. Yay. Our Clark is an Aries, Team, team Aries. Aries. How do you right. feel? If you're an Aries, let's hear from you. More than Leo's. How did I know? Oh, how did you know Leo and Aries? Oh, yeah. thank you so much. You know, I've done some reading on horoscopes, and they say that Aries and Leo are the absolute best pair. And that was before I met Tracy. And it made sense to me because my mom is an Aries, and my two daughters are Aries, and I thought, I know how to do this. When she told me she was Aries, I said, I got this. Yeah, I so know. it's... It's actually perfect. They're two fire signs, and so Ooh. they're very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Soulmates. Hey, Kat, a good question. How did y'all get into your careers? Um, I actually went to school to do radio. And it just came out of me, and I'd never thought about it. It, it never considered it 
And I said, I'd go to school and study interior design. And this person said, then you need to go and do it. And I said, okay, but I can't. No, you need to go and do it. Okay, <laughs> but you know, uh, but I couldn't afford it at that time. And so I uh, saved my money for a year and toured the school before uh, I made the decision and at the end of the tour, she said, let me sign you up. And I said, no, I can't sign up this year. I'm going to come back Since next year. Since they're freezing. What happened? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Since we're freezing. Oh, I'll come back next year because um, I have to save my money. She said, you won't be back. And my mom was with me. She said, you don't know her. She will be back. And we were standing in the gallery, the senior gallery that had all of the, the top artwork from the students. And I said, and I'll have things hanging in this gallery. And I went back the next year, and uh, in the first semester, I had four things hanging in the gallery. And it's, it's so crazy because it's my work, but not one day passes that I feel like I'm working. It's like my joy. And that was, I graduated in 87. That's how many years I've been doing it. So, yeah, I love it. Okay. Okay, sorry, you missed my um, answer, my response. We froze for some reason. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, so I was saying that I went to school to study radio and TV. So I worked in the radio industry for a couple of years. I did on air, like commercials and stuff like that. And then, but I've always wanted to teach. And so in 1995, I began teaching. And um, I've been in education since then, all different kinds of roles, but all of them are focused on just doing the best we can to change outcomes for kids. So, yes. Uh, yeah. She runs the world. <laughs> That's what she always says. Always, yeah, it's true. I Thank you it. for the roses, Bianca. 54 Ladybug. Hi, friend. Hey, Jack. Thanks for the roses. Thanks, Aubrey. There's a comment that's pinned. Pinned? What yeah. does that mean? <laughs> Uh, advice to young lesbians. That's a great, that's a great mm. question. Um, I would say Zena, like it's to, to authentically be you. I mean, I know that sounds kind of like, okay, of course. Um, but you are the only one that has to live your life. No one else has to live your life. So I would say be true to who you are. Um, and, and own the space that you're in. And I think, um, as my wife would say, people who love you are going to come along with you on your journey. Um, I was a young lesbian. I mean, I've always been my entire life. And so, you know, trying to navigate that space was not always easy, but I was always true to myself. And so I would just encourage you to do that. Um, so there you go, Christy. Cheryl needs to narrate a book. Her voice is so soothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does a very soothing voice. It's Thank very nice. You. Yeah, more stories are going to come on, to, on YouTube. So we're going to do, we're going to do a video this weekend. Um, again, we're just kind of all new to this, and so we'll we'll just kind of figure out as we go. I'm gonna let you guys cook with me. Yes, she's yeah. the she's the chef. Um, she even has a a master chef apron that she wears um, when she cooks because she's a great cook. I didn't earn it. My kids bought it for me, but still, I just I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened to your Instagram? I don't know what you mean. It should still still up and going. Did y'all watch TikToks? I was actually on TikTok for the last three years. She never was. Yeah. Um, she didn't even know that I made a TikTok that day that went viral. And I was like, baby, um, I think this video is about to go viral. Yeah. And she's like, what do you mean? And then that's, that's and the end. Hi from Malaysia. Amazing. Thank you, Miss Kari, the one. The orange hoodie pick. Oh my gosh, yes. We have the orange hoodie pick. Yes, um, yes. Well, We'll put it in a story or on a, we'll put it onto Instagram. We'll put it on a story. It was so pitiful and so adorable. And I'm telling you, I didn't get to say this the other day when we were talking about it, but when I saw her face in that hoodie, it, it just went straight through me. And I knew that moment I absolutely had to reach out to her and I had to help. And it was that hoodie. She had to help. I did help. You guys, she had to help. I did oh, help. She did help. Yes. <laughs> Hello from Belize. Hi, Shayla. Ecuador, this is so amazing all around the world. And I know it's all different times, right? That you are. Favorite uh, memory together? There's oh, so heavens. many. Like, we love to travel. Um, Tell them about when we laugh until we can't walk. Which one? That was in, uh, where was that, San Miguel? Our, our taxi. We really love San Miguel. So that's one of our favorite memories, San Miguel de Allende. We love going to Mexico, all different places in Mexico. Um, and so we really love going to San Miguel, hanging out on the square, dancing. We just, we love it. Philippines. So we love to travel. Any of our memories involve traveling or just laughing. Um, 
Oreo, favorite perfumes? Um, I like a lot of the um, Byredo, any of the Byredo fragrances I really like a lot. Um, and I like Narciso Rodriguez is my number one that I normally wear every day. I like Clive Christian with the gold top. Looks like a little crown. My kids always buy that for me. It's my favorite. Yeah. I haven't bought her that because if they buy it, that means I don't have to. Yeah. They, they said they Come can't to buy Kenya. It We've never been to Africa. They don't get it. Uh -uh. Oh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> they said, let Tracy get that for you for now. No, 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 no. Hola. <laughs> That's what they said. Hola from Mexico. <laughs> Love from Brazil. Thank you. We're so excited. I love Dominican Republic. Here. Yeah, we've yeah. been to Punta Cana. That's where we've been. Um, I've been to Cap Cana and uh, Santo Domingo. I did a project there. Design yeah, so project. I've been there about maybe 12 times. Yeah, it's fun. Um, where love. do we live? We live in Dallas. Hi from LA. Come to Ireland. We would love that. Yeah, I would love that. Love our first, Portugal. Our first ceremony fabulous. was in March of 22. That's when we got married. So we've been married a year and a few months. And then we had a couple of other ceremonies after that, as you all know. Yes, we're from Dallas. We, we're here in Dallas. Hello, Barbados. Brett, no, I've not been to Australia. Have you? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Nicely. Lane, who said I love you first? I probably, I think I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was busy telling me that we were friends, and I looked at her one day, and I said, you know what? May I say this? May I tell this? Yes. I said, you know what? I've been listening to you say we're just friends, and you're okay with that for so long. And I said, I think we need to unpack that, like, kind of like right here and right now. And I said, my friends don't look at me the way you look at me. And I don't look at my friends the way I look at you either. So I don't think that's true. I think we've always been more than friends. And then she told me, I've always loved you. <laughs> the one I was trying to friend, friend zone her. How did you know I was? Yes. <laughs> Miss Carney said, I clear it up, Cheryl. <laughs> I was not buying it. <laughs> Hi, Kinsley. We should come to the UK. We would love that. We would love that. Oh, thank you. Yes, we have, both of us. What's that? Dated one. Thank you so much, Colette. Nani said, what traditions do we have? Gosh, we're still a lot. We're really into family, so we really, really love like spending time with our family and each other, um, friends. We love dining out, traveling, and we're kind of homebodies too, so we also do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Hello from Japan. Wow. Who's the Leo, Elena? She's the Leo. <laughs> My birthday's March 23rd. I just turned 50 on March 23rd. Oh, thank you, Maddie. You can tell do me the like lipstick the again. Fair? <laughs> I do. I, yes. like the, I love the state fair. I like the year? corny dogs and the, the smoked turkey legs. Mm -hmm. And I get Frito pie at the state mm -hmm. fair so bahamas we love the bahamas 50 where thank you two fire signs chic you're right i know susan we have a twitter we've not really been that active we just started it um but i think people think it's like a scam but it really is us we just have not really had time to do much on there <laughs> thank you stephanie hello latoya from jamaica did she design the wedding um mostly we had a wedding planner but cheryl was instrumental in the designs yeah. Basically, they ask you what you want, which is how I approach any design project. And so you kind of tell them, and I said black and white are our colors. And we want it to be very modern, very uh, sleek, very elegant and sexy. Um, and so they came back with some ideas for us. And so we took a look and they nailed it from the beginning. There, was, there were so few things we changed. I can't even say we changed anything. But we were able to give them our, our kind of slogan, you know, our, our um, um, the feel we wanted, mm -hmm. you know, we got to pick all the streamers at the end that looked like feathers. You guys thought were feathers, mm -hmm. but there were these long streamers. Um, yeah, it was a fun experience. Someone said she's getting better. Yes, because she told y'all no the first time. Oh, she told me no. She did not want to talk on camera. 
Um, our lashes, um, her name is Eleanor. Eleanor. From Valencia Brows and Lashes. She's going to be on in a little bit. She probably is here. She's in Dallas and she yeah. is amazing. She does all of our lashes and she's great. And our, she does stay rubbing that arm. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our, um, to our moderators today. I appreciate you all for taking care of us because again, we weren't really sure what to expect. And so we appreciate you all um, taking care of us. Do we have kids? I have three. Now she has three. Mm -hmm. And a dog. Yeah. <laughs> so I have two daughters and a son. Okay. The best jack salad place in town in Dallas is called what? Sappy Salads me? on Greenville. Have you been there? I have not. I've, I've not, not even heard of it. Okay. She's, she's pretty. Y'all go together? Um, give me your hand, baby. Yes, we go together. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you from Japan. Ring close up. I mean, okay, baby. <laughs> Can you see? Hey, Shanice. All right. What are your love languages? That's a oh, great yes. question. Yeah. You want to start? Um, go ahead. Don't say no. She was going to say no. I was going to say no, but yeah. She was going to say no. You go ahead. I'm getting so, better. You know, my love language had changed over time. It used to be gifts because I thought, like, if you buy me a little something, it means you're thinking about me. But as I got older, my love language changed. And so now it's acts of service. So when my wife, like, um, gets me my water, my crystal light for me and brings it to me or, you know, she brings something that I need from the other room. Like, I love acts of service and also quality time. That's really something that we spend a lot of together. Yeah. True. They know your and they know your love language. Physical touch is one for sure, um, but it's also words of affirmation. Uh, I guess those are probably my top two. But um, I want to say this: I think it's super important that you figure out and tap into what your partner's love languages are, because as much as you may love them, if you're not loving them in a way they can hear you and mm -hmm. they can feel it they're not receiving your love mm -hmm. and it's going to be frustrating for you and frustrating for them too. So immediately that we talked about that mm -hmm. and acts of service. I just immediately thought, okay, how would I want to be loved if that was my, mm -hmm. you know, love language. And that's how I started showing up for her every day. And it, it didn't, we didn't always get it right, mm -hmm. but you know, that was the intention and uh, the heart behind, you know, our giving to one another. Good. So like for me, I know that affirmation is her love language. So if you watched a video I posted maybe a couple of days ago um, where I surprised her with a jar of affirmations mm -hmm. because I know that's something that's very important to her. So whether it's a card or a little note that I'll leave when I go to work or what have you, like just something to affirm her and let her know how much I appreciate her. Because I think when you get in a relationship or a marriage, it can get easy to just kind of, you know, just go in day in, day out. Mm -hmm. But we have to make each day special. Mm -hmm. And and we've committed to, to doing that the best that we can. Mm -hmm. We don't always get it right, but we really try hard. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are not booking Airbnbs. This is our home. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. The story of our first date together. Which one? I think, okay, so this is what the I one, talked about in the video. Was it really a date? Right. It wasn't supposed to be a date. It wasn't. But it really felt like a date. Y'all. And everyone in the place thought it was a date. Okay, are you going to tell a story? No. Okay, I'm going to tell it. So, we were going to meet at True Lux, Dallas. True Lux is where we fell in love. So, if you're in Dallas or you know True Lux, that's where we fell in love. So, we would go there to kind of listen to music. And so, one day, she's like, hey, I haven't seen you in about a month. Let's go meet up at True Lux to have, um, you know, dinner and listen to Clay, our favorite pianist. Mm -hmm. So, I met her up there and I was on the phone sitting at the bar waiting for her to come and I and she pulled up, you guys. She pulled up in this beautiful, I almost said a bad word, but we're on live, a beautiful Aston Martin. She got out of her car and she had on these leather pants and she was just looking really just beautiful, right? And I'm really not inclined to be all like, ah, over girls, right? But when I saw her, I told my friend some things that I won't tell y'all on the on live, <laughs> but I was like, oh my God. Um, but I knew then like, okay, this is something. And so like the eye contact we were having, this is a friend date. We're just like the eye contact and people literally, you guys, were just coming up to us. Like, you know, thinking we were together and just commenting on how beautiful we were together. And we were just like, yeah, we're friends. Um, we just kept saying we were friends until we were not friends. Thank you, Dat Chick, for the, for the uh, gift. <laughs> You want to add something to that? No. <laughs> See, she got it, you guys. 
<laughs> the chemistry. Were you plotting on Tracy during that freeze? No. Mm -hmm. No, I really wasn't. But I'm telling you, when I said those words, something went through me. Something went through me. There were so many people. There were hundreds of thousands of people that were without power and without water during that storm. I didn't say, hey, up there in Plano, hey, over there in wherever, come, I made food. There was only one person I reached out to, and it was this one. And, you know, that's just, that was just meant to be. That's all <laughs> I can say. I, I don't know any other reason. Nothing else makes sense. Calista said, we need to see the leather fit in Auntie Cheryl. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all can handle it. That's all I can say. I'm not sure. Do we do the cleanses now? We're kind of doing a modified one right yeah, now. Um, we had pizza tonight because we were celebrating going live with you all. But in general, we're kind of doing that right now. But lipsticks, she's wearing Sephora. I'm wearing Maybelline, like, like CVS Maybelline lip stain. It's Sephora. Um, and it's called the Cream Lip Stain, and it's color 95 is what I have on today. But I have so many of their colors because that particular formula I love. And I've tried several of their other ones, but this is the one that I don't, everyone's been saying, do you use a liner? I have no liner, and it stays all day. That's kind of crazy. So are we doing a wedding for you all since we weren't there for the others? Yeah. You know what? We can do a live. Yeah, let's do it. We can do a live wedding. We've not had a wedding in 2023 mm -hmm. and it's May. So like, what are we waiting on? That's a great idea, India love. You better follow us so you can see when it happens. Um, don't forget you all to follow us on YouTube, just uh, subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Instagram as well. What other questions? Hello, thank you. There's a question. Hello from Oregon. Hi, Bianca. Good. I need y'all all to be there. Yes, Wendy, we are. They, thank you. We're obsessed with you, too. I, I heard someone say, we're obsessed with um, you all as much as you're obsessed with each other. Yes, I go to Seattle actually probably every other month for work. Hi from Tulsa Squid. That's my hometown. I'm actually... That's my hometown. I was born in Tulsa, and I've been here since I was 12, so I'm really Texan now, but yes. What, what's y'all's song? Mm. We have several. She sang it today. She post, well, I posted it, but she sang it to <laughs> me. Yeah. What is that? Uh, it's Weak by SWV. Yeah. That's one of our favorite songs. I always mm -hmm. sing to her um, all the time. So. And Couple of Forevers. Okay. You're meeting your in-laws. Thank you so much, Sonia. How old are your kids, Cheryl? So my oldest daughter is 32, her name is Taylor, and my son is 28? Nine. Yeah. 29 in September. Yeah. Yeah. And my baby is uh, 27, her name's Haley. And Jax is 13 and a half, our dog. We think. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts, Luna. Everyone got a penthouse now, what that means. Couple of Forevers, yes, it's one of our songs. We love Kim. So, yeah. Thank you, Jade, Squid, Bear. Thank you for the gifts. Appreciate that so much. When was the first kiss? I think it was in, in that car. It was in the car? It was in that car that she was talking about a minute ago. Yeah. That's it. I told you it was a date. <laughs> we stay in Dallas. No, that's not true. I didn't. She made the first move. Hi, Chrissy. Zodiac sign, Cheryl's a Leo, and I'm an Aries. The family dynamic is actually great. Like, I have, um, I'm the youngest of six kids. Um, two of my brothers have passed away, but I still have two brothers who are living and a sister. My parents are deceased, so we just really have each other, my family, and they adore Cheryl, and um, they've always supported me my entire life, so... The family dynamic is great. I have a great mm -hmm. relationship with Cheryl's mom and her kids and her sister. So mm -hmm. we really are blessed. Yeah, they've just totally accepted Tracy just from the beginning. My mom said, I am going to be, I've always been your best friend and I'm going to be Tracy's best friend too. She said, you will see, you're going to have all my support. Mm -hmm. And that, those weren't just words. She really has just been amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, my kids, you know, reach out all the time. And the first, you know, thing is, how is Tracy? 
So, mm -hmm. and she texts me every day. Mom, my mm -hmm. mother-in-law texts me every single day. When I go out of town, she texts me. She's just been great. How did you guys reveal your feelings for one another? That was really, that's a long story. It, you know, we, it took us a while to get there because we were really just trying to focus on our friendship um, and not introduce all the other things that can really complicate you getting to know someone. So we really focused on being friends. Um, and we were, and that was our, that was our relationship. Um, so it took, it took a minute to get there. Mm -hmm. True. My favorite thing about Cheryl, and then your favorite thing about me, my favorite thing about Cheryl probably is like, she just has this light about her. Um, no matter what room she walks into, people are drawn to her. Like she just has a light about her. She's, she's funny. She's smart. She's beautiful, as you can tell, um, but her heart is just as beautiful as anything you see on the outside. So, anything else? Should I add to that? No. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The list is too long. I, I'm not kidding you. It's, I'm in awe of her every single day. I watch her work, and I watch her heart, and I watch her passion and what she does, and, and her passion in the way she loves me and supports us and what she gives to us and um, I feel safe for the first time in my life in a relationship mm -hmm. and in love and I feel valued and I feel seen and that's because of who she is. <laughs> that's true? Yes. Thank you, baby. We were surprised. We went viral. Um, absolutely. Um, when I think it was maybe 10 minutes in, I was like, baby, we have like a thousand views and she knows nothing about TikTok. I was like, I think we have like a thousand views in like 10 minutes. I think something's happening. We're going viral. And she's like, what does that mean? She came running in the bedroom. She's like, baby. <laughs> then I was like, okay, it's a million followers. Okay, there's two million. Yeah, oh, there's five million views. So very quickly. And then I will tell you that 99% of the people have been so supportive and so positive um, in how they have interacted with us, regardless of their views. Um, and you know, you have those few who are just miserable people who don't know that how to affirm each other affirm others and so we don't give them any attention there were some things that i wasn't surprised at at all that we got a little you know oh yeah kick back on uh but there was one thing that did surprise me and it was the video with the uh me throwing the tissue some people were really offended by that yeah. like truly offended and that that uh, tickled me of course we cleaned up okay mm -hmm. set that straight who's older Oh, age. <laughs> I'm older. Older. Um, don't even mind them. I know we don't. I mean, seriously, you guys. If we, you know, when you get this kind of like viral um, video, you get all kinds of people coming at you. But 99% has been so positive, yeah. and we're so grateful. Thank you all so much. Belize. I want to go to Belize. I know you've mm -hmm. been. I've not been to Belize. I love Belize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Um, no, I've never, you know, I've never been married. This is my first marriage, first and only one. Talk about being an interracial lesbian couple. Yeah, I can do that. Um, we both have been in interracial relationships before, so that was not, that part is not new. I think it's just a matter of just really understanding and honoring each other's view. Um, and then just being honest, if something bothers you that's said or an interaction that you have, we're just very honest with each other. And so it's never been any kind of, you know, challenge with us. Thank you, Teriana, for the gifts. We love you too. Thank you, thank you. Hi from Canada, we love Canada. Yeah, we like living in Texas. Love it. We like it, you know, politically Until there's stuff that we don't like. it's degrees, 30 days in a row, that's tough, but we still love it. Kai said, I'm struggling with my sexuality. Do you have any advice? Um, I would say if there's someone that you have in your life that you can trust to have a conversation with who will respect you and honor you, um, I think that would be a, a really good start. Being true to yourself, I think, is really important. I will say that a, a lot. Like, how do you live authentically and being who you really are is important. Um, and it's easier said than done. So, but I, that's one thing I would say. Thank you, Tariana. Find your, find your tribe, find your people, find those people who lift you up and celebrate you. Because it may not be the first person you come out to or the mm -hmm. second or the third that's going to support you in a real way. So you need to make sure you don't give up and until then you have to support yourself and just be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Y'all just keep popping up on your FYP, is that right? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. It's been no movie deals, no. <laughs> that looks like a penthouse, but y'all are so funny. 
You are hilarious. <laughs> um, how, when did you both come out? I've always been um, out. Beautiful couple. Thank you so much. She says she likes every single TikTok. Thank Aww. you, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Jaden. Did you have a honeymoon? Um, we didn't have Several. like an official, but we just went on a lot of trips. <laughs> we went on like four trips in the first four months. So we just, we just kept going. Because, you know, you only live once. And, you know, I think for me, like losing my parents early in my life, being a young, a, a young adult without parents and losing my brothers one just a few months ago, it just makes you look at life differently. You know, like don't waste time, live in the moment. Don't focus on what's gonna happen or not gonna happen. Just really try to live your life. And so we love to travel. We have some travel coming up this summer. We're really excited about too. Um, so Cheryl's not shy anymore, not really. Actually, okay, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. I really wanna know what you think, so get ready. Who is the introvert in the relationship and who is the extrovert in the relationship? I should have done a poll. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. Who's the introvert and who's the extrovert? Yes, I've been to Europe. No, I've not been to Greece, but I do want to go to Santorini. That's Cheryl, nice introvert. Too. I'm the extrovert. I'm the extrovert. Keep going. <laughs> introvert is Cheryl. Uh, Lua, you're right. Where'd Lua go? Cheryl's definitely the extrovert. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. I'm just afraid of cameras. I don't know why, but this just... It does something to me, but I am not an introvert. And this sweet thing is 100% introvert. Like, give me an hour to decompress after work, and I need to be quiet, and don't, you yeah. know, let's not talk for an hour. Yeah. Like, I'm that and introvert. And I'm ready. I'm like, baby, this happened, that happened. You want to play cards? What are we doing? And she's like, uh, yeah. Introvert problems. Yeah. Thank you so much, Brandy. I am an introvert. I know people don't believe that, but you know, it's kind of like, you know how to, I'm forced to be an extrovert because of my work, but I really am an introvert. I'm not shy, but I'm an introvert. What else you guys? Thank you for the gifts. Carla, we love you too. Aww. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that you are funny. so cute. <laughs> anyway. Love language, um, so again, mine is service, um, acts of service is my number one in quality time. Cheryl's is more affirmation and physical touch. You all see her always on my arm. Yeah. That's all the time. It's just, I love it. She's just all the time, lots of touch. Thank you, Sherry. Any advice for being more extroverted? I will tell you that like even before this or anytime I have to speak at work or do presentations, um, I have to like really have quiet time just to kind of reflect and process. And if you'll notice people who give presentations, if they start with a joke, they're typically an introvert. Think about that. When, you, when someone starts off a presentation or a speech with a joke, it's to calm themselves down. Mm, so that's I kind of what that. I do, so. <laughs> Hi from New, Hi New Zealand. Favorite movie and favorite actress. Not a big movie person. Um, we watch a lot of RuPaul. We love RuPaul. <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay. Those are our favorites. <laughs> Cheryl's lashes. Um, Eleanor, Eleanor does our lashes. Yeah. Um, Valencia Brows in Dallas. From Guyana. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you all for the gifts. Thank you, Shannon. And user 85724. Hello, hello. Why was I friend zoning Cheryl? I mean, you know, we just we're, we're friends. Friends, 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 friends. More to that answer, but yeah. Yes, we do wear cross necklaces, which actually is another point of controversy with about five people on the videos. Um, we don't let anyone tell us what our faith should be because we choose to be in a relationship with a, with a woman. It has no bearing on my faith or Cheryl's faith and who we, and the God we believe in. So. Hobbies. What's that? Hobbies. Oh, hobbies. Oh, heavens. Um, I like to cook. I, I in fact, I just, it's a passion actually. I don't just like to do it. And, um. I work out, I like to walk, I like to be outside, we love to travel, um, we love to dine out, 
Um, we love to play games. <laughs> we play a lot of she, games. Y'all, let me tell you something. We were playing. I told them I was. I told her I was going to video this last night and share it with you all. We were playing Phase Ten. Not sure if you've heard of Phase Ten. So when she loses, something happens to yeah. her when she loses, and this whole chill, kind of calm, mm -hmm. sweet person you see, she throws the cards mm -hmm. when she loses. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. So yeah. that's what you need to know about her. She taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite drag queens? Pin me. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Oh my god. There are so many. Um, I, like I love Trina the Tuck. Oh yeah, you I do like, like Trina her. Um, I love the O'Hara uh, family. Mm -hmm. O'Hara family. Um, Davenport's because we're in yeah. Dallas, so like da you know Davenport's, we love them. There's so many. Crystal Summers in Dallas, we love Crystal. Um, I think we've watched every season, and sometimes you know we Bob the drag queen, we like him too. We fall asleep, and it takes us five nights to get through the same episode. I'll remember one part, and she'll remember another, and we say, "Let's just start over." Mm -hmm. Yes, we are married. Yes, do you? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yes, we like to play games too. Y'all fine as hell. Y'all are so funny. <laughs> How do we meet? Um, we talked about that on Facebook. So definitely go back and watch our viral video that talks about where we met um, or how we met. You can tell them again. You can tell them again, okay. Go ahead. So we were friends on Facebook <laughs> for many years. I'm sorry to bore you guys that already know this, but um, we kind of just learned one another about one another just by, I, I watched what she was posting and she posts very like inspirational, motivational type things and funny things. And um, I could tell that she was about uh, family. She was about friends. She was about um, things that were positive. And that was always what I was about and kind of similar to what I was posting. And uh, so I just appreciated her from afar. And um, then I got, a, I got a message from her and she said that she'd seen my work and um, she just wanted to reach out and you know, tell me to have a great day and that was that. And then several years pass and we had a huge like five years. storm. Yeah, five years pass. I'm still watching her, she's still watching me. And um, this storm rendered millions of people without power and water and Tracy was one of them. And I could tell by uh, you know, what she would post from her house that she lived near me. We were both kind of close to downtown. And so three o'clock in the morning, I'm on Facebook, I'm by myself. I'd been cooking for days because there was nothing else to do, you know? And um, there's this orange hoodie, pitiful. Like, I'm not even kidding you. She's just like this, like, you know, and she's, I mean, that's all you can see is like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she said, day three, no food, no water no power, no heat. And I just, I just thought I have to help her. And like I said, there were so many people that were posting the same kinds of things, but not a one of them just went straight through me like that one. So I sent her a message and I said, I have. She loved me then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's the end of the story. Cheryl's flawless old school Hollywood. I know, Aww. I know she is. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Who plays the piano? No one. I bought it. Um, I don't know how many years ago now, maybe 20 years ago, and uh, for my kids. So they would play the piano, but you know, it didn't work like that. So now we um, hire people to come like, you know, Christmas party. Like when I proposed to Tracy, we had our favorite pianist Clay. He came and played for us and you know, so that's what we do now. Was Cheryl out before? We're not really talking about our past relationships, and we both have been with women. She's had kids, so that can kind of give you the answer. Just about everything. <laughs> a fit check. You want to show your outfit? <laughs> no, because my bottoms. I don't want to show my bottom. So <laughs> I just have on little white, little white jeans and little black <laughs> sandals. That's it. <laughs> no plans. No mm -mm. plans for what? Pride Month. All right, I'm, we're so happy that you all are here. It's not San Francisco, it's Dallas, hi. Oh, I know, they like how when you don't wanna answer a question, you just don't. That's, that, yeah. that's the Leo in her. Yeah, <laughs> and that, that, you can adopt that. You can just take that as your own. Mm -hmm. 
And the other thing that I've learned in uh, dealing with clients and in life and uh, all these decades is when you get a yes, you move on. You don't keep selling it. You don't keep convincing. <laughs> when they say, okay, you go, okay. And you keep, <laughs> keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to answer every question that's put in front of you. Mm -hmm. So what we do for work, my wife's an interior designer, for those of you who are new, um, and that I'm in education. And so that's kind of what our work is. Um, I'm an Aries, she's a Leo. And yeah, there's no drama. We have the most quiet, low-key, peaceful life ever. Mm -hmm. And I am sure when you, when you get to our age also, you're not looking for all no. that drama. So no. we are just, we love to have a good time, enjoy our family and friends, and we love to spend time together too. So it's really great. Fire signs, yes, you're right. <laughs> Fire sign and interior design, yes. No grandchildren, none. No, not yet. Mm -mm. None of them are married yet. <laughs> They're all in significant relationships. And the baby's been in a relationship for 10 years. Crazy. <laughs> um, what else? Thank you for the gifts, Carrie. Who moved in with who? Um, I moved in here to Cheryl's place. Um, I, I left my beautiful place that I loved so much, but we needed one space and this was larger, so I moved. Yeah. But I would not move in until we were married, so. No, she told me that. <laughs> she said, I will not, we will not we're not checking until we're married. <laughs> so, that little, little fire. Yes. We got married and I still didn't move in for mm -hmm. a couple of months after we got married yeah, until I got true. out of the, out of the at least. Thank you to our moderators who are getting rid of people who are just not, who are not here for the right reason. So thank you, ladies. Thank you so much, her red lips, her signature red lips. Aww. This is my first marriage. My wife's been married before. What else, baby? Write a book, yeah. No, we've not watched Riverdale, but we've heard that a lot with, with, from the videos. People are, are commenting and saying that we remind them of um, Cheryl and Tony, I yeah. think is what we've heard. <laughs> so we had to Google like, who is that? <laughs> How's the new popularity been? The new popularity? Mm -hmm. It's been interesting. Yeah. It's, what do you want me to say? I don't know. It's, been, it's just been a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, uh, it was unexpected, uh, but it really just, it, it warms our hearts. You know, sometimes we're preparing videos for you guys and we're watching the videos and putting it together and we're emotional, like, and we know what happened. Mm -hmm. So it's really been such a, um, a fun experience to go back and kind of relive so that we can share with you. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Elena. Hey, Elena, you're our favorite too. Um, we're gonna do a house tour maybe this weekend. We've had a busy week, as you can imagine. Yeah. So um, we'll do a house tour this weekend. Yeah, We'll do that, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Sadie. Hi, Annalisha. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna wrap up here in a couple of minutes. So any other last minute questions before we wrap up for the evening? Good, Deidre, you should always have hope. Always have hope. Hi, Sierra, thank you so much, Sierra. Thank you for the gifts, Queen. I can't see the last part of your name. What's the plans for YouTube? Really to go more in depth. So the thought is we'll have like a topic. So we're gonna focus a lot on just kind of relationships um, and how we are able to live out our relationship in a positive way. Um, we're gonna do a lot of motivational, inspirational things too. Both of us are in that space of just kind of celebrating with our gratitude. So we'll share tips. Cheryl's a cook, so she cook cooks, like cook cooks. So I'm sure that we're gonna probably share some of her cooking as well. Um, Hi, Stevie and Becca. I've loved y'all for like two years. Um, age gap lesbians, love you so much. So when you followed us, we were so happy. Thank you so much for the gifts. Favorite food to cook, Christi uh, Christina wants to know your favorite food to cook. So um, Moroccan chicken and peppers, I guess, because that's everyone's favorite. And after someone has it, that's, they, they just continue for, for 10 years to ask me for that. So I love cooking it for them because that's why we cook you know, is for other people to enjoy, so. And I cook too, sometimes. Yeah, she cooks from Eatsy's. I go to Eatsy's and I'll get salads or yeah. tuna fish or something and then I bring it home. And they're the best meals ever. That's the cooking. Mm -hmm. 
You know what's funny? We don't really just think like we're an interracial couple. Like we know that we are, but it has not ever been any kind of deal or issue for us. So, you know, we're good. Interior design tips, you all stay tuned. Oh, we need to do some some videos. Yeah, we're going to show some videos. I'll take you to work with me sometime. Oh, yeah. I do have a, some really do fun Do a get ready with me and then you can take them on. Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. You'll love it. Mm -hmm. The 21 Day Cleanse, we'll do a video about that. I can um, tell you what the name of it is, though. Go ahead. It's Standard Process and it's called the 21 Day Nutritional Detox. And you can get it at um, uh, mainly at compounding pharmacies. They used to have it at Whole Foods, but they don't carry it anymore. But it has to be someone that's licensed to sell that product. Um, but if you go to the website, Standard Process, um, they'll be able to give you a list of, of um, com compounding pharmacies across the country and in other countries too. But that's the only place you can buy it. But it is absolutely the best one I've ever um, come across. And doctors recommend it. It's, like a, it's, a, it's a very healthy, um, natural, you, it, it'll change your life. Thank you. Someone said, why are you so behind on replies? You all, there are over 2,000 oh, people God. in this live. <laughs> so there are a lot of comments coming really fast. We're doing the best we can. So um, we're doing our very best. Yes, we'll talk more about that. She's seeing her cooking. She's definitely going to show that. Yeah, culinary arts. Yes, we're happy. They're coming so fast. I know the comments are, so we're trying to keep up with everybody. Thank you all so much for the love. Um, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a YouTube video on just religion or just our thoughts on spirituality and um, being married to each other and the importance of that. Um, and we're gonna do our very best just to kind of keep you all um, engaged. And if there's specific content that you're looking for us to talk about, you know, feel free to message. Sometimes we get, we get a lot of messages, so we do our best to try to respond um, as we can. But we both have full-time jobs too, so we're doing our very best. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much from coming from everywhere um, to join us today. We are so honored and so happy. And touch, it really means so much. So um, we'll see you on TikTok. We might even have some content for you in the next couple of hours. You never know. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to our moderators. We appreciate you so much. Thank you for all the gifts and all of the love. And we look forward to seeing you all again. We'll go live again probably the next couple of days or so. Okay? Have a beautiful night. Love you all. Love you.